I hear you. This weekend was a particular. I had a couple outs. I have Soder with me, and for the first three shows, I had David Tell. David Tell's an easy out. You could always just roll with a tell because he does what he wants to do. Right. No activities during the day. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even pretend to take part. He goes to the hotel the second they. He stays up all night, Dave. He has the same regiment as Dracula. He does. Yeah. He stays up all night. Then there's that situation is you feel bad then going to bed knowing that when. That's why I started. I learned by day two, I'm going to bed. I'm going to start making the move to go to bed because. Other people start going, and you're out there with Dave. You know, we all want him to be happy, and we all love him and respect him so much. It's just you'd feel like, no, dude, I definitely want to stay up till six in the morning with you, and then you'll go to a hotel, and then in four hours, I'm gonna find out that Bert's. You know, we have to go deep water fishing, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he sets up the day trips and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. There's always a thing to do. They even got last. Day, I'm so susceptible, man. It's so easy. I go. uh I go, hey, when I woke up the last day, I was like, it's the last day. I just got to get I gotta get all my stuff out of the bus, put it in the hotel. So I was like, uh, they go, Jay, you going to the surf lessons and stuff? <laughs> and I went, <laughs> I went, no. And they went, uh, okay. And then Bert goes, no, you're not going to go? And I was like, nah, not on this one, buddy. I did them all this week. I go, give me, I need one to just go recollect. And he goes, <sighs> How about you come for like an hour, oh. and we'll, and the runner will take you back if you want to go in an hour. And I was like, and then, you know, everyone's standing around you, and you're, I'm still brushing my teeth, and I have wipes in my front pocket because I'm gonna go take a shit. I just took a shit also, and you're like, yeah. okay, uh, you, you went. I did everything. I you did went. Every, you every went surfing. No, you didn't have to surf. Um, me and Dan just, <laughs> me and Dan just rode. Just rode waves like on our with our bodies. I don't like that that these guys got bamboozled into a TV show. Oh yeah, I mean, so this is this is a fun, this is a TV show. So is it all content driven or is it just like let's go have fun because we're on the road and and otherwise we're going to be sleeping in our hotel rooms? No, this is one hope, million percent content driven. Yeah. I hope it comes out. I hope it comes out on HBO just like Torgasm, <laughs> and it's just like a, a ten episode Me? arc. Me and, and they I make, me I'd make Jay, if he wasn't they make really Jay the fucking the the sleepy one, the sleepy <laughs> dwarf. <laughs> True. I mean, they, uh, they, it's basically it is it, it's basically like he releases it on his dude, channels, and, but it is a show. It's fully produced. Yeah, right? fully produced. Me and Dan could walk away. Would be walking away to like talk shit or not even just whatever, and you just like uh, even the conversation. I'm like, want to go get on the electric bikes or we'll go smoke a joint, blah blah. And then you just look up and there's like a little microphone. Look like, huh? Oh. Like, Jesus. Are they following you with a boom? Yes. If they're following you with a boom, it's not just on the camera. It's not a st A lot of times it's just camera, but sometimes there's a boom. And there's a, and Even they're all great. His whole crew is fucking great, man. Yeah. They're all so good. Like, <laughs> everyone does their job, like, phenomenal. Yeah. The way that thing runs is, you know, I did it with, like, bands and shit before and seeing, like, a major production for that for, like, the biggest bands, uh, some of the biggest bands. And it's this production is nuts. But dude. it's more than a... Like, you get hired to do a comedy show. What do you mean? Well, you're really doing a TV show with comedy in it, right? They're not filming the comedy, right? They film everything, I think. So they film the whole thing. and yeah. But you're also doing shit during the day, so you're filming a TV show kind of... Your content house. Content house. It's content house, for I sure. am, uh, I'm so past... Like, I can't... I wouldn't be able to... I'd have to go... He had to rename it partially loaded I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even like i i am so now on the road just like wanted to get to bed like just yeah. do nothing do the show and nothing else i've been to every state a million times i don't want to see like the this or that I, I to to think that like they'd be like all right let's go we're going to do you know we're taking you know Fishing. candle making i'm be so, like okay, i can't do this it. weekend it was you're not into surfing i took a surf lesson once we did a four once <laughs> once yeah we did uh, uh Jay's fake smile and I mean that everybody else is really having and Jay's just fake Oh shit. Oh yeah. By the way. That's your I want to I want to be doing tummy time in my hotel room smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's so full of shit. Yeah. They got one shot at that photo. Jay gave him one shot at getting a photo. Uh no, I did a couple of those up on the bow and I tell you what, felt like I was going to fall twice. I don't so this is being raised by mom and grandma for too many years, and my step pop not being an outdoorsman, is that it's that's all icky to me. 
Yeah. I don't want to touch it. And when they, the guy would just go, we were all sitting in the front there. And at one point, the guy, when he bit, brought in one of the fish, he just throws it down by our feet and it starts flopping around in our field. Like, ha, ha. Yeah. And I jump up because I don't like that. Then he made me hold one. Uh, then they throw it back in. Now, I will say, all of these things, and I mean this, I would tell, who gives a shit? I would tell you if, the, if I didn't have fun or whatever. They were all fun. Yeah. And fun things to do, it's just, you're doing the thing and then you sort of even... You can now, me personally. This is very much my thing. I can't let go of the idea that I need time to go. I have to in these hotel rooms. Keep in mind, unpack entirely. You know, what I mean, not entirely. But I have to take all my toiletry, everything out, and get a shower. Now you're also collecting dirty clothes. So I'm a person that's like I don't just put everything back in the bag. I have a dirty clothes bag now that I'm packing back in the suitcase, and everything's just like. So it's unpack. Take five seconds to yourself. Take a shit, take a shower, and then the thing is you go, but when you go back, it's it's a thing. You got to bring all the luggage back, put the suitcase under the bus, put your bag back on the bus. You know that bag's going to have to come apart because that's where you put the sleeping shorts. And So it's just a lot of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to put stuff here and there and everything. They I like going to a hotel. Yeah. One time. Yeah. Unpack. Everything's everywhere. The last night, right after the show, I go back to the room. I pack everything. So the morning I wake yep. up, my pants, toothbrush. my socks, yes. my underwear, er, toothbrush, Same. hat, ready to go, put it on, brush my teeth, out the fucking door, take a key just in case. Same One exact. scan, in the my, car, on the plane, home, done. My suitcase Hallelujah. is- Hallelujah. And then my I tell my wife is, to un- empty that, fix that. My suitcase is standing up. Now I've started, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, toothbrush and toothpaste travel within my carry bag, my, my backpack. Mm-hmm. So I can close my suitcase up completely the night before. All I got to do is brush my teeth, dry off the toothbrush, yeah. put it in my carry-on bag, and I'm out the door. I've known how to refine. So doing this, though, four times over five days, the entire thing, that when it got to stuff where I agreed, I'm like, let's go to the beach for like an hour. I went, uh, okay, I'll go for an hour. And then like the second wave of dep- – these are such minor, trivial things. Are you things. afraid if you say no, he's going to – like be mad at you if you no. go, dude. I ain't doing fucking surfing. Go fuck yourself. No, but it's understood that like this. No. Like you, you, he, uh, he's a, tell, it's a vacation. Tell, he, knows, he knows David Tell's not going to do it. It's totally it's fun. Like, Dave doesn't have shorts. But I'm not in this so at you all. Can't show up surfing I, I, if in it jeans. Makes sense, if it makes you feel in a fucking in a barracuda jacket <laughs> and then five hats on. Whatever he's wearing Dave, now. Dave on the surfboard with <laughs> yeah. his black uh, Carhartt. <laughs> yeah, <with the> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Jay with mit- with his little fingerless mittens and a wallet. <laughs> Dave's holding like a big culotta. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I didn't do the uh, that pool day they were just showing there. I did not do the pool. How does Burton do it though? How does he? Do I don't that? understand. Well, I'll tell you what. He's I, a I napper, to... big time napper. Yeah, he's a big napper. So like, also that's what I'm saying. That's what's interesting too. And also the way he he lives. He's just by the way he's made for that. This is not a bad thing. I've been on a bunch of tours now, and the people who are the most like love it and get into it are the people that go like. Yeah, no, I might not shower today. And if I do, I'll grab one backstage at the place and, like, I don't care if someone knocks and I'll take a shit somewhere here at the venue. And do you know what I mean? Like, when people can live like that, they kill it. Oh, shit. Oh, I stink, man. I got to take a shower finally. I, don't, I can't live like that. <laughs> you can't live like that? No. Besides Bert. <laughs> yeah. Besides Bert, the other people on the tour that are our age or older are, are all gung ho, or just, do you secretly share? It looks like. Yeah, we I, want I, we want some dirt. Any I, dirt? What ha- Anybody? I understand. Like, get into a fight yet? It's an experience. No, nothing. It's, it's, it costs money. Like it's a nice thing he's doing. It's, it's like, great. It's it amazing. is. You know, it is amazing to do these extra things, make these memories, have these laughs. It is. But like when it's like, but I like when it comes organically. Like it, it'd be tough for me. Like a lot of times I'm like I need to have downtime, quiet yeah. before this show tonight. But, but, I can't just go from. That to the state, it's just like it's not as black and white as like right or wrong, who's right or wrong in that situation. Yeah. Bert's kind of right, and I do believe, it. like, again, it is expected because he lives his whole life in content. He even says that that's like a he's worried about that in his life. That it's so much like anything that happens in his life that he's not even filming, he's like, please, God, someone be filming this, which is like a scary place to be. Where he says he's like, he's worried about being too performative. But I do, and call me a sucker if you want, I believe in that in the boyish innocence of Bert. 
to the degree that, like, in his mind, though, and he is, and he means it, and he's right. When we all go, everyone has a blast. I know. He's creating memories with Frank. Yeah. He's like, yo, I get to do this with people I picked to do this, and it's like, man, I'm going to be on a boat with uh, Jay Soder, you know, Mark Norman and everything, and we're fishing and reeling and fish. He does. He, he loves it. The rest of it's us, the, we're, great. we're the cynical ones. <laughs> like, yeah, but we're, because we're comics. Of course. We, 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 that's what we do. We're, we I, I told, we rip everything apart. We're cynical about everything. I told you outside. Me and Sal, especially, are two people who have had many, me and him, maybe me, you, and one other person, emotional conversations about comedy, the business, the, the quote-unquote art of what we do or something. Because we know there's, it, you got to keep it to three of us because it, we know it's cheese dick, but this is our <laughs> moment to have that moment. We're stoned or whatever. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And you could have that sitting in a big circle when it's crossover to a jelly roll being there and Bert and having a musician who is great complimenting like you're, I don't know how to take that and give that conversation back. You know, you're just like, oh, you're great, dude. Because they're always like, the poetry, the which how you talk. And this is even to me. Forget I'm not saying saying this to me. Just yeah, like no. you know, the 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 mastery, the way, and the builds. I think he was saying to Chad Daniels. He's like, you build. It's like a rock show. It's like you open with this thing. You set a tone, and then it build. And you're just gonna sit there and go, thank you. Like you just keep saying that. I don't yeah. know what to say. It's yeah. such a weird, grand thing. You know what I mean? And you're like, if you do it, if you get wrapped into it, you can get wrapped in. It. We all can. Yeah. But then you're like. But my personality is the guy who goes, what are you jerk-offs babbling? And like, shut up. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> oh, the art, the, t- the way we work them, with them, we you get in their heads it. and do things. It's like, shut up about it. Uh, David Tell called it Behind the Music Talk, which is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you guys done with the Behind the Music Talk back there? <laughs> yeah, but why could you just say that? Because I mean, Tell's not going to do that. Jelly, he's not going to do it. Jelly Roll, I mean, Jelly Roll is a, oh, man. He's a great. Great guy, but when they start fight, when actors no, or that's musicians their world, get though. into there, they love jerking each other off with the art of what they've, and I get it because they're It's a amazing. more serious art. Yeah, the art is rooted like, in serious, so that's why. So what are you talking about? Like how Jay's levels of, hey, about pussy jokes, or you know what I mean? How I fucked a stool, you know, because the way you grab the stool, other people grab the stool, yeah. but you kind of grabbed it. And it and I was like, that's a woman. That's not a, I didn't even see wood. I saw a female. And when you went and you started banging it, it was like, I, I felt like a motion. Shut the fuck up. Dude, the way that you do <laughs> that Mexican voice is. <laughs> It's crazy. No, it really is. That's what I mean. Like it's that kind of. When you get scared and terrified, I was scared. I was like, "Is there a spider? Is there a... like this is? You're amazing. Just look at me, Sal. Look at me. Unfuck it. You're amazing." It's yeah. You feel weird because you don't want to be like. It's because you can Jay. Be... When you go, hey, where are you from? I believe you. I believe yeah, that's you. That's all I'm I can like, do. I'm like, all this I is wanna, nuts. All I want to be is someone that you believe you, that you believe what I'm doing. Yeah. It's a good compliment. Fucking assholes. That you believe it. Now, listen, again, it's the thing, too. I had a, listen, I should talk. I, I did a prayer circle with Dane and Gary Goldman. Of course, did dude. Guys you did everything. kick ass tonight. I mean, you rode a horse. You tore your ACL playing touch football with three gay guys. Uh, dude, do I you break, give it back to him? I, like, I break all the rules, dude. Right, do I give it back? Are you like, dude, and I believe that you... You no, only I'm... talk to God when you need a favor. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, if I was there, I'd be talking about that song. That was my favorite song. <laughs> no, it's but he amazing. played. But he played. Uh, no, but he played us some of his like new stuff that's coming out, and it was like great. You know, what I mean, it was really. Uh, it was very good. Was it was. It added, was, was, it was added a little more, even Super like uh, it's. It's going like uh, alt rocky a bit, almost like the like Black Keys like uh, genre where it was kind of going. It's pretty neat. Um, no, and you can't. You can be complimentary back. It's not that. It's just that when we leave, we're both artists, and we can be drawn into that conversation about sure what we do is actually like a thing that's interesting. If, if you're one on one, right? Right. I would do it. Of course, or or or, or two friends. I guess that's in, me being insecure. I guess, so not wanting. To, I can't take myself seriously. But yeah. when, well, let me just say, when the musicians, yeah, when we when they leave that conversation, musicians are going and writing. It's like, you know, the fire in my heart. Uh, we'll never die. It's yeah. like blah blah blah. We'll meet again yeah. down the road. Blah, you know, I miss. And we're you writing. Know. And when we I have shit to go. My pants. We have to go. Literally, it's like it's like. Have you ever uh, <laughs> just eaten your own cum because you're in a rush? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 